congratulations for being the first woman to be elected to Congress in Massachusetts. And we want to know that we have to do some phone banking for you, so we can get all help, and I appreciate it very much. Okay. And since you've been in Congress, um, what initiatives have you been interested in and you've been working on? Well, the first piece of legislation I filed um, was to create a timetable for the redeployment of our soldiers for Iraq. And in concert with that, in parallel with that, we have to create an organization that would engage in our neighboring countries, uh, bring in members of NATO, members of the EU, uh, to bring great diplomatic and economic pressure to the country to achieve the goal of pressure and assistance, I should say. Um, I also have filed. You know, you do big things and little things. That's the biggest thing, and obviously it's a challenging issue and one we still are wrestling with. Uh, but then I also filed legislation on, on the Armed Services Committee, and the National Guard has a problem attracting physicians and dentists to care for uh, National Guard soldiers because they can't assist in the payment of their medical loans at the same level that the active services can or that the private sector can. Because all know doctors and dentists really do have tremendous educational debt. So I filed some legislation to allow the National Guard to uh, go up to the same level that the active services do in order to begin to attract uh, doctors and dentists into the National Guard. And then we have a small, I'm fortunate in my district to have represent two national parks. Lowell National Historical Park, which had its 30th anniversary yesterday, and the Minuteman National Park, which um, really is a, a testament to the Revolutionary War and the beginning of that war. And there is the farm, uh, the Barrett's Farm, that was owned throughout its history by two families. It is now held by a nonprofit in the National Park, one of the expanded boundaries to build this farm. And, and, and the reason it's so historic, it was this farm that housed the munitions that prompted the British uh, to go to Lexington and Concord and prompt Paul Revere's ride to warn the town, the, um, to warn our soldiers that they were coming. So obviously it's an important, important piece of American history. And so we filed this legislation to expand the boundaries. So these are sort of they're very different, but um, these are the kinds of things I've been working on. Yeah, but a lot. And the last question is, are you enjoying yourself? Absolutely, and it's an honor. Uh, it's an important time, as we all know, to be in Washington. We need great change in this country. Uh, we need to change, as I said, in the campaign. It's not true. The tone of our laws and the way we go about addressing serious issues. But uh, we obviously need to change the direction of our country in fundamental ways, whether it's ending the war, dealing with health care and access to health care, addressing the energy crisis, uh, the cost of all the things that are affected by the high prices of energy, global warming. We have tremendous tasks, and we need a Democrat in the White House to do that. Excellent.